gets aggressive and likes to punch holes in a wall and put his hands on people so i just gotta put it on life he's talking about uh <laughs> some wine when i haven't been talking the whole time he's talking about are you gonna talk now he wants to say are you gonna talk said, but he, there's holes in the wall because he he, he likes to put his hands on people when he gets angry so the way that he's just yelling while i was in a tub but he yeah, likes to really he likes to get angry really and put his hands on people and you do this every single time you really screwed us and you do this every single time. Don't tell Roz not to cry because he doesn't want you oh, to cry. Don't, don't. Be, be honest about the fact that you I lie know. and say she was a one night stand, but your mother even told me that y'all was together. And, and. Yelling. Yeah, While I was I, silent. I was, young, I was absolutely I was silent. While you were yelling and being really aggressive, I was silent. I didn't say a word while you were being really, really, really aggressive. Remember? Remember that? Remember the way you just jumped up and, and what happened to the baby when you jumped up to hit Raiden because you said he wasn't listening to you? That remember that? Do you remember, Brett? Let's just be very, very honest yeah, about it. The yeah, and then the way that I, I, I got upset because you almost dropped the baby the to, to hit Raiden. Let, let, let's be let's be real funny. about that. Just the way that you don't take care of your daughter at all whatsoever. The way that you did not take care of Race for the whole first year of his life. The way that you did not take care of Race for the whole first first year of his life. Let's just be very, very, very honest. Let's be honest, Brad. What have you really, really done? I'm sitting here silent, talking to Alan while you're yelling. While you're yelling. Let's be honest about it. Rose paid for every single aspect of your life, Brett. You you literally did not have anything before. Let's be honest about that. You were 30 years, 32 years old living in somebody's basement on a mattress. Didn't even have a bed. Only on a mattress. Only on a mattress. You you moved into my you moved into my luxury apartment with me. You was asking me, you were asking me, hey, come. Oh my God, you are a liar. You were asking me, hey, come to my house and I felt uncomfortable to come to your house because you lived in the ghetto. Let's be honest. What are you talking about? Yo, let's just be very, very honest about it. Like, let, let, let's, stop, let's stop lying. Remember all your, you, you're like, oh yeah, I, I beat women. That's why none of my uh, relationships in the past have worked. Remember the closet door at our house is broken? Why? Because you put a hole in it. Let's be honest about that. All the messy assholes don't speak on me. Keep my name out your mouth because I don't beat for free. All the messy assholes don't speak on me. Keep my name out your mouth because I don't beat for free. What's up, you guys? It is Mary. And Amma. And we are so happy, you all, to be back. There's so much to report, so oh much to talk goodness, about. So oh, much. my God. But obviously, we have to talk about this couple that we actually both watch. I watch them, I think, I a little know. more so than you. But um queen of kings as you guys may not may know or may not know but this is a bi biracial couple no mm -hmm. interracial couple <laughs> this interracial, is a biracial. yeah interracial this couple. is an interracial couple they mm -hmm. do have two kids but she actually came into the marriage with two children of her two own sons, yes two sons and really they have been promoting this whole interracial love thing on their channel and everything right um and you know recently she went live and she kind of aired him out i would say yeah. i don't know if it's true or not well but she really started to really go at him she's i i just thought it was i thought it was out of pocket i, I like i don't i feel very uncomfortable when couples kind of air, air their dirty their laundry I just do, um, I felt, I don't know, I just felt it was inappropriate, one, to do it live, two, to do it 
in front of the children. Right. I mean, he was holding a baby. Right. There was another part where um, her son was there. One of the older boys were there. And they all seemed a little nonchalant about it, as though this is par for the course. The kids is, seemed, the older kids really seemed like it was just another day. It was an, that, yeah. that was what was most troubling so to me. So that's a red flag. Right. You know, and um, she really shouldn't do stuff like that because then you open yourself up to, you know, other people getting involved you know and the other thing i don't like the whole airing out of couple issues and then also the public, finances or just in public period that's right. something you deal with in-house now yes if it's abuse that's a whole different thing but that's not what we were talking about here you know she talked about him being poor she talked about him being like her ha- paying for everything Their well house you know the, the bottom voice. line is i don't know if she hadn't gone and shown like she's not the only one on youtube he's on there too yeah so whatever she's getting it's theirs right yeah i, I don't know if people will be interested in just her not that not interested in her people will be interested in her because she's a very like bubbly personality very like you know a little cray cray yeah but i like her cray cray you know i i do i think she is funny i actually do think she's funny um but what i'm saying so on her own yeah i bet she could have a youtube channel and have a whole bunch of people watching her but that's not how you came into the whole thing you're showing us your family yeah, how and for the long and for the longest time, she was praising him, which I did say. We both said that you should never praise a man too much, especially online. Me, yeah. I never get why some, which is just my preference. But I yeah. just one, if I'm on social media, I do not ever expect my man to look at me and be like, "So we do the social media thing?" Because it'll be a hell no. Yeah, stick to your nine to five. Right. <laughs> But I, I, I don't I think don't she had a channel prior. I think I don't she think came so. to she she came well I started knowing her when you know they were already both there. So right. if you guys know if she was there by herself first and then she came, please let us know. But it's two of you and we're interested in both of you and your lovely family of four now. You know, we are like invested in that, you know, and but just to call him, just just ratting him out like that. Calling like him. this man, he comes from a family. Like he also has a family. And it seems to me from what she has shown, his family really has just embraced her and her and her sons that she brought into this relationship, right? Right, right, right. And she has given him all these accolades, how he stepped in and took care of these boys and all of that stuff. One thing I loved about her was the fact that she has kept um, the the grandparents of the sons, right, yeah, that involved. she had involved, right. Um, and then his parents, you know, they the way they treat all the kids, there's no discrimination. Like, they treat all the kids the same, the same like their grandchildren. Um, and so I think just out of respect for his parents... You just have to be careful, like, what you, you know, like, I, like, I used to have problems, right, with your dad, and, um, but there are just certain things, like, there are certain lines that I will not cross, because I always used to say, this is Mama Rosie's son. Yeah. You know, this is Mama Rosie's son, and I loved his mom, like, I mean, she was, like, my heart, and so, you know, my thing is not to break him. It's not to F his life up. You know, right. even if we are not together, I need him to be able to stand and be okay so that, you know, you, he's still in you all's lives and he can hold his head up high and have his own confidence and stuff like that. This is not a way. This is kind of so emasculating. I, I just felt like it was yesterday. really, I just thought it was really poor taste. I felt like it not, I know she was trying to air out his business, but also for me, it just made her look really bad it because did. you're saying all these things, but he's the one holding the children and then you're just going off. While your and legs then are you're, 
across the you just and then let's be honest about that let's be it's honest like, like let's not let what was she she kept on saying this one and phrase every time let's she's insulting honest. him he's holding these kids and it's just like and he's feeding them and it's just like girl uh, but no anyway, they one. said that there, I guess she was trying to. I guess I don't know what the whole story I guess was, she but was I did not see the lie. She was frustrated, maybe about the finances. Maybe she felt like she had just reached her max. I well, get no, it. I'm not saying that I don't get it. Like I get it, but it's so inappropriate. For me, what was really inappropriate was you going and basically calling this man everything but a god, a, ch- a child of God. That's what I'm saying. And then she came out the next day, like happy, slappy, talking about you look like you love me, and then like they're yeah, all he happy he didn't kissing. Seem very into it. Yeah, he and still, then she, she looked came hurt and posted me. the mortgage um, stuff, talking about my man's not broke, and it was all like first she said my man's not broke, and then she said oh it was all a joke, and I was just trolling you guys. And I, you know, this rant, it went way too far, but people were coming for me. So I did this to troll and all this stuff. Uh, just tell the truth. At this I point, I you just so look because crazy. Because he was trying to grab the phone from her at one point. So I don't think so it was So obviously, a joke. he certainly wasn't in on the quote unquote trolling. He <laughs> said he wanted to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It was one sided, and he was the um the innocent bystander. Craziness. <laughs> and then she has this thing where she's like, "Don't come for me." She does a twerk upside down. Yeah. I said, "Well, girl, you go, girl. I didn't know you could get up like that and still have your twerk and your legs going yeah, up I'm, and down." Yeah, I'm gonna show that. Was this at <laughs> eight ten? But that's just her personality. She. But I just feel like I one. I do know. Listen, this, I'm not saying I'm people who shave off their head or they ain't wrapped too tight. I'm not saying no. that. But what I am saying is she just had a baby. Yeah. I do remember her specifically going online and saying that she wanted to abort the child and she begged him to do so. Mm. And um, because she just that did is it inappropriate. Right. So like she, keep these things in we, house. Oh like goodness, I feel like me. yes, social media is not real. Like, we show all of the best parts. Yes. I feel like we should keep it that way. Yes, I don't want to be your, psychi- <laughs> your psychiatrist. Like, uh, this social media mm. is not a platform for you to go and air out the good, the, ba- the bad, and the ugly. Like, I feel like no. if you're doing it for inspirational purpose, yes. Yeah. But if you're doing it to tear down your own family, that don't make no sense to me. Especially then, when you all are still together. together. <laughs> like, maybe and you do... intent for y'all to continue it's just in poor taste. Man. It was very poor taste. I just thought it was. I'm sorry, but it was ratchet to me. I just felt like it was very <laughs> ratchet. As you sat down on the couch, your baby kids running around all over the place. He holding the baby on his breast. No, she the one who looked like a baby kid. Not the kids or him. She no, looked bad. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, but it's just like the kids were running around and all this stuff and they're screaming and then you're also screaming and he's having the baby on his chest and you're like going off. Let's be honest. Let's yeah. be real, but Brett. But this hotel, I pay for this hotel. I pay for yeah. the Rolls Royce. Yeah. Like, but you know the other just, thing too. It's embarrassing. When a woman shaves her head, I, a lot of times, I, in the no, past, let me, let me I used actually to clear shave that my up. head. No, let me actually clear that up yeah. because I didn't even get Sometimes to finish Sometimes it's saying. like a new way, something new that you're trying to do. No, but or, uh, she wanted to abort the child. That's oh, okay. what she said. Okay, and then, so I don't think she was so really ready for this child. So she you. ended up having the child and all that stuff. Okay. But she has been struggling with postpartum. And then randomly, okay. they moved to Hawaii. They were just supposed to go there for a vacation, and uh, then they ended up moving there. Wow! So my thing is, so she has been seeming a bit off since she had the child. Yeah. Um, and then she randomly just shaved her head one day. Yeah. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that because I know anyway. But there's nothing wrong with that. She's but just there's things some mental, leading up. That there's some mental stuff. It's that postpartum. She's still, she's still dealing with. I, I feel. think so. I think so. But you go see a therapist, like you. Be surrounded by people who you love and respect. Yeah. Um, and then you also we talk it like out this. and you this journal. This makes us very... Upset. What, upset, uncomfortable for you. It's very cringe because like she's trying to cover it and now she has posted some video of like her of her, her son's um, birthday party and you haven't addressed it. Just like At this point, just be honest. If... if Yes, Brett's was broken. You brought him up out the gutter because you said that he was in the ghetto and he was sleeping on his mama's couch and you had to put him into your five-story apartment and 
he was in the hood and he met you at a strip club. Like, all these things she said was just very wild. Like, if that's the story so of your what? love, What's wrong then with just him be being real. In the hood? What's wrong with him being in the ghetto? You know, so what? So what? Does that mean that people who live there are bad people? I remember there's a time we No, lived she's in the basically ghetto. trying to say that she like, brought him up and she tried to make him look like this good person. She's like, well, don't no, try I to wasn't bring trying... anybody up or like. Well, she was saying that I did all this to make you look good, but I do feel I like. I wonder what he did. I'm just trying to figure out what did this man do to Well, she her? said he was yelling and maybe being aggressive did... to her or whatever. Okay, I mean, so like... maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's abusive. And so this is her way of letting him know look. If you're going to be this way, I'm going to get back at you and I'm going to do it live. That's you know, when you don't leave. get it twisted. I will do this live. But my thing is this, like you guys have to go to couples counseling. No, if it's that bad, uh-huh. use your common sense as one of my, I can't remember who said Because this that. guy is very big and she's very tiny. I, so, I mean, if he's being aggressive to her, especially if it's physical, that's scary. Are we really thinking this man is being physically well, abusive? Well, that's what you just said. She that's said. not what I just said. What, what I said, said was... <laughs> you said she did. You know, Please for don't me, give it's my, a trigger. Don't get my, 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 Listen, my behind suit because I, I did I not say that. I just watched Divorce in Black. That foolish so show. So I am... Actually, it was actually really good. But I... I'm just easily triggered by anything. No, of, that's not what you I said. said. He said he was getting aggressive towards her. She said her. getting aggressive. I didn't say he put her hands on her. Well, that, to me, she, when he says aggressive, especially because he is so big, this guy is huge. No, she said that he was being aggressive towards her and was trying to snatch the phone. And then she said, look, y'all, if anything happened to me tomorrow, ugh, you know what happened. Anyways, people were so saying that, that she that was really drunk. He has been aggressive then to her. Oh, no, wait, so, because we I, I haven't put the other part in it. Oh, what's the other part? She was drinking, they were saying, on the thing. So. Oh, my God. I don't know she what the truth is. She drinks in front of the kids? I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. Okay, listen. This has, this has gone know. left. So listen to me and listen to me well. Rose, let me tell you something, girl. All right. Get and away from the from kids. Get away elder. from the man. Get away from the kids and get away from the man. No, listen, and go see a therapist. If you are, let me just say this: <laughs> if you are being abused, okay, be honest about it. Um, if he's putting hands on you, this guy is too big. He's too big to put hands on anybody. If that's the case, you leave. And I don't want to say call the popo, but you may have to because, I mean, if he's being aggressive, if he's being abusive, if he's being abusive to you, like, you have to cut this off. On now, one hand, I do want to say it this. it is about finances, if, it, if, it's, if it's anything but abuse, okay, if it's anything else and it's not like someone putting their hands on you, this is something that can be worked out okay if he's not calling you like out of your name and getting all up in 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 your face you know what i'm saying because he's very big so it doesn't take much for him to be intimidating i'm sure right so someone like that they come all up in your face yelling that's scary it's time for you to go but if that's not the case Anything else can be worked out. What I will say, don't work out your stuff live. Seek a counselor. It seems as though you guys have very a very good support system with the elders around you. You have grandparents that are still together on both sides. Like, seek counsel. Go to your church or to your mosque. I don't know if she's Jewish. Like, I don't know what religion they are or yeah. if they are religious. But if you are, go to your religious facility and talk to, you know, the pastor or imam there. Like, this is something that can be worked out. You guys seem like a beautiful family from what you showed us. You let us in. You know, I'm so sick and tired of people on the YouTube space breaking up. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, so if it's nothing, if it's no abuse being done, this can be worked out. Um, Certainly keep things like this off of this space because it just makes things worse. Okay, 
And at this point, I think there's no way to clean it up. Either you just don't talk about it, you start acting, you continue to act like everything's perfect, or just come out and be honest. But you, you there honest. lying and talking about, oh, he's not broken, oh, it was a lie, and oh, we were trolling. Like, you sound delusional. That gives me Cardi B vibes. You know how Cardi B do. She come, she all upset about Offset. And then we are all like, Cardi B, yes, we're there for you, blah, blah, blah. Then she comes out and she curses us out. Like, you know. Stay out my marriage and all this stuff. <laughs> you know Listen, I don't get involved in this stuff. But so, I'm just, I'm always like, girl, that man cheated. He had been faithful. He cheated. He stayed cheating. And then she come out and, and she, she curses stayed, out. So, like, so, you know. You, I mean, people. right now she has twerked on us. Rose done twerked on us. And whatever. So... Listen, Rose, and you can reach out here. Honestly, I can be one of the elders in your life. You can reach out, send us an email, and we can talk more. Um, but certainly seek counsel. You guys seem to have a wonderful support system. Please do that. But you guys have beautiful children. You just had a baby. Also, go see your gynecologist because of this postpartum thing. And also go see a psychiatrist because I think you're definitely, like Mary is saying, dealing with postpartum depression and it is no joke it is no joke rose okay it is no joke get the help that you need for sure we wish you all well and we really we will, do yeah we want to see you both win we really do and this family win yeah. okay so we'll see you guys on the next one okay. bye, bye.